welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss a question which says that for the parabola 2y square minus 6x plus 6y plus 33 is equal to 0, find first part coordinates of vertex and focus, second part length of latest rectum, third part equation of axis and fourth part equation of directrix. Now, before starting the solution of this question, we should know some results. And that is, the summary of some facts about four parabolas in standard form. First of all, let us discuss the coordinates of vertex for these four parabolas. Now, for the parabola of the form, y square is equal to 4ax, the coordinates of vertex are 0, 0. For this parabola, that is y square is equal to minus 4ax, the coordinates of vertex are 0, 0. And for these two also, the coordinates of vertex are 0, 0. Then, the coordinates of a focus for this first form of parabola is a0 for the second form is minus a0 for the third form is 0 a and for the fourth form is 0 minus a. Now the length of the latest rectum for the parabola y square is equal to 4ax is 4a. For the second form of parabola it is 4a and for the next two forms it is also 4a and 4a. Now let us discuss the equation of axis. The equation of the axis of the parabola y square is equal to 4ax is y is equal to 0. For the parabola y square is equal to minus 4ax, it is y is equal to 0. For the parabola x square is equal to 4ay, it is x is equal to 0. And for this parabola, it is also x is equal to 0. And the equation of directrix For the first form of parabola is x is equal to minus a. For the second form of parabola it is x is equal to a. For the third form of parabola it is y is equal to minus a. And for the fourth form of parabola it is y is equal to a. Now these results will work out as a key idea for solving out this question. And now we will start with the solution. Now the equation of parabola is given to us. Now given the equation of parabola is 2y square minus 6x plus 6y plus 33 is equal to 0. This can be also written as 2y square plus 6y is equal to 6x minus 33. Now dividing throughout y2, this implies y square plus 3y is equal to 3x minus 33 by 2. Now, completing the square, of left hand side of the equation that is this equation we get now for completing the square of the left hand side we will add and subtract the square of half the coefficient of y so this will be y square plus 3y and half the coefficient of y is 3 by 2 and its 
square is 3 by 2 whole square. So adding and subtracting the square of half the coefficient of y. This implies y square plus 3y plus 3 by 2 whole square is equal to 3x minus 33 by 2 plus 3 by 2 whole square. Now on the left hand side, the square is completed. So this implies y plus 3 by 2 whole square is equal to 3x minus 33 by 2 plus 9 by 4. This further implies y plus 3 by 2 whole square is equal to 3x and on solving this it will give minus 57 by 4. This further implies y plus 3 by 2 whole square is equal to, now from this, taking 3 common, it will be 3 into x minus 19 by 4 the whole. Now, we will express this equation in the standard form by shifting the origin. That is, if the equation is in this form, which is not in the standard form of the equation of parabola, then we will shift the origin to minus plus alpha minus plus beta by putting capital X is equal to X plus minus alpha and capital Y is equal to Y plus minus beta. That is, if beta and alpha are negative here, then we will shift the origin to plus alpha plus beta by putting capital X is equal to X minus alpha and capital Y is equal to Y minus beta and if beta and alpha are positive here, then we will shift the origin to minus alpha minus beta by putting capital X is equal to X plus alpha and capital Y is equal to Y plus beta. Now this equation is in the form Y plus beta whole square is equal to 3 into X minus alpha the whole. Now to express this equation in the standard form of parabola, we will shift the origin to plus alpha and minus beta. That is, we will change the signs of alpha and beta by putting Capital X is equal to X minus alpha and capital Y is equal to Y plus beta. So we are shifting the origin to plus alpha which is 19 by 4 and minus beta which is minus 3 by 2 by putting capital X is equal to X minus 19 by 4 and capital Y is equal to Y plus 3 by 2. Now let us name X equation number 1. So we will put these values in equation number 1. Then we get y square is equal to 3x which further implies y square is equal to now this can be written as 4 into 3 by 4 into x. Now this is of the form y square is equal to 4ax which is the equation in the standard form. Now this is of the form y square is equal to 4ax 
Now here, 4a is equal to 4 into 3 by 4. This implies a is equal to 3 by 4. Now in the first part, we have to find the coordinates of vertex and focus. Now, we have the equation of parabola that is y squared is equal to 4 into 3 by 4 into x which is of the form y squared is equal to 4ax. Now using this result which is given in the key idea now capital X is equal to X minus 19 by 4 and capital Y is equal to Y plus 3 by 2. So X is equal to 0 implies X minus 19 by 4 is equal to 0 which implies X is equal to 19 by 4 and capital Y is equal to 0 implies Y plus 3 by 2 is equal to 0 which further implies y is equal to minus 3 by 2. Therefore, coordinates of vertex with respect to old axis are 19 by 4 and minus 3 by 2. Now, the focus with respect to new axis is A0, therefore capital X is equal to A and capital Y is equal to 0. Now, A is equal to 3 by 4, so this implies X is equal to 3 by 4 and y is equal to 0. Therefore, focus with respect to new axis is 3 by 4, 0. Now, x is equal to 3 by 4 implies, now, capital X is equal to x minus 19 by 4 is equal to 3 by 4, which implies x is equal to 19 by 4 plus 3 by 4 will give 22 by 4 which implies x is equal to 11 by 2 and y is equal to 0 implies now capital Y is equal to y plus 3 by 2 so it will be y plus 3 by 2 is equal to 0 which implies y is equal to minus 3 by 2 Therefore, coordinates of focus with respect to old axis are 11 by 2 and minus 3 by 2. Now in the second part we have to find the length of latest vector. Now using this result which is given in the key idea, length of the latest rectum will be equal to 4a here a is equal to 3 by 4 so this will be 4 into 3 by 4 which is equal to 3 now in the next part we will find the equation of axis now using this result which is given in the key idea The equation of axis of the parabola with respect to the new axis is y is equal to 0. And the equation of axis of the parabola with respect to old axis is now here put y is equal to y plus 3 by 2 is equal to 0 which implies 
y is equal to minus 3 by 2. Now in the next part we have to find the equation of directrix. Now using this result which is given in the key idea, for this parabola, the equation of directrix with respect to the new axis is capital X is equal to minus A. That is capital X is equal to now A is 3 by 4 so it will be minus 3 by 4. Now X is equal to minus 3 by 4 implies now capital X is equal to X minus 19 by 4 so this will be equal to minus 3 by 4 which implies x is equal to 19 by 4 minus 3 by 4 which gives x is equal to 16 by 4 which is equal to 4. Therefore x is equal to 4 is the equation of directrix with respect to the old axis. So this is the solution of the given question and that's all for this session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.